Wow. Look at what my Discord server did to the roster. So following on from a previous selection of character polls which Bandana D ended up winning, I decided to present these characters and some others that I threw in there, one after another as potential new fighters in the game, but in order for them to be added in they had to replace an already existing fighter, except for Echoes. What followed was some controversial picks. Starting with round 1, Dr. Mario received the most nominations to be replaced by Bandana D, but actually won the pole battle against Bandana D and ended up staying. Next was Black Shadow, who was our first new character added in our little roster here, as they demolished Me Swords Fighter in the actual pole battle between the two of them. And the rest of the pole battle winners are as follows. Papyrus, here we go. Papyrus who was pitted up against Corrin, um, obviously Corrin's not the most popular character in the world and Papyrus definitely is, so Undertale, Undertale definitely took that battle quite easily. Um, next up Dr. Eggman who took Ice Climber's spot, um, classic people wanted another villain after Sephiroth, uh, Dr. Eggman's just a good shout in general, and although people wanted Ice Climber's back, uh, before Ultimate, now that Ice Climbers are here, like no one's using them, <laughs> so again, that was quite an easy battle. Uh, next up is Master Chief, who took Robin's spots, so that's another Fire Emblem gone in favor of Master Chief. Excite Biker, who took Mario's spot. I think they did this for kind of shizzles and giggles, really. They, yeah, they decided to replace Excite Biker with Mario because. YOLO, I guess. Next, Porky was replacing Ness. I found that quite a weird one as well. Um, not that Porky was added in, but that it replaced Ness, who was the main character of uh, Earthbound. Replaced with Earthbound's villain. Or Mother Freeze villain, but whatever. And then Waluigi uh, took... Min Min's spot, so yeah, Min Min's not the most popular character in the world. I don't think you need me to explain that to you. Um, so yeah, Waluigi took that one. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Rayman, yep, Rayman took Duck Hunt's spot. People thought that Duck Hunt was kind of not representing his series well, and Rayman is always popular, so. Mm -hmm. Dix Kong replaced Diddy Kong, another weird one. Um, it would have been nice having the two of them here, but. Yeah, they decided to replace Diddy Kong with Dixie Kong, so fair enough. I always thought Dixie would make a nice, like, Dr. Mario type character where they would have Diddy's moveset for the most part, but Donkey Kong's recovery. But hey ho, we got Scorpion next, who's replaced Ike. So that's yet another Fire Emblem gone in favour of Scorpion. Doom Slayer, who, yeah, we actually got rid of Hero, so that was quite a surprising one as well. I thought out of all the DLC fighters that we would replace like Byleth first, but no, we actually replaced Hero um, in favor of Doom Slayer. Skull Kid replaced Young Link, so it seems like the pattern for quite a few of these is when a new character from a series is announced, um, get rid of an old one. So they've decided to get rid of Young Link in favor of Skull Kid. Again, quite a weird one, but hey, we got three links, so I wasn't really bothered by it. Um, Shantae, who replaced Zero Soup. Um, so yeah, fair enough. People want Shantae. And Zero Soup, again, isn't the most popular character at the moment. With her being as good as she is. Uh, Shovel Knight, who replaced... Who was that? Villager. Okay. I didn't think Villager would go, but fair enough. And yeah, Shovel Knight's here. Isaac. Replaced Sheik. I didn't think Sheik would go, so that's weird. But, you know, we've still got Zelda, um, and again, Isaac's still a character that people feel should be in the game, and it's quite forgotten about in general. Um, next up was the Knight, who replaced Simon, which of course meant Richter had to go as well. Um, so I've got, a, I used the next round as kind of a free space where people could add in another Echo Fighter of their choosing. Um, so they chose Papyrus. 
Sorry, Sans as a Papyrus Echo. Not sure how that works rigging wise, but now we have two Undertale reps all of a sudden. So, okay. Um, and then next up was Chibi Robo, who replaced. Who'd they replace? Bayonetta. Okay, so Bayonetta's gone. Again, she's quite the controversial character in this game. Um, and people still want Chibi Robo in. Paper Mario replaced Toon Link. So that was just a simple getting rid of another Link in favour of another Mario. Um, I could see Paper Mario having a much different moveset to regular Mario anyway. So yeah. Crash Bandicoot, who replaced Piranha Plant. So Plant Boy is gone, unfortunately. But as you'll know, I want Crash Bandicoot in still. So oh, again, I wasn't upset by that one. Um, Phoenix Wright, who replaced, who was there? Palatina. So yeah, <laughs> Palatina is another one that people don't like. A lot of people anyway. So, yep, so we've replaced Palatina with Phoenix Wright. He would have a weird moveset. And then Hat Kid was the next one to be added in, replacing... Rob. Rob the Robot. Rob the Robot was replaced by Hat Kid. Arlie. Oh. Ignore the tracer, she wasn't actually added in. Um, Arlie added in, but replaced Zelda, so now we don't have Sheik or Zelda. So all the, all the Zelda reps are dropping like flies, um, along with the Fire Emblem reps, so yeah. I don't think that would happen, but again, online Zelda, online Rob, online Palatina, all these characters, some of them I think they're just being replaced because of online. But I wasn't really bothered by it, to be honest. Um, and then this was the weird one. This was actually the server's choice. They wanted to add in you from Persona 4. I think he's the protagonist from Persona 4, and they wanted to get rid of Joker to have the better Persona protagonist, I guess. I haven't played any of them, so pff, I can't really comment on that one. And then we got onto the Echo Realm, so this time people could actually replace existing Echo Fighters um, with other ones. So Funky Kong was added, and Daisy was gotten rid of, and I just had a bit of a move around just so that Funky Kong was actually next to Donkey Kong. And then, yeah, Funky Kong. There's that boy. And then, who was added in it? It was Octoling. And that was just the other day, actually. So, Octoling was added in, and Lucina was taken out, and again, had a bit of a move around. And that's pretty much it so far. So, this is the roster so far. Thanks to my server. And, yeah. It's still going at the moment. Uh, next up, we got Shadow, who's going to replace someone. Um, I'm already seeing nominations for Pichu and Roy. Pichu's not an Echo Fighter, so that doesn't work. So, who knows? Maybe Shadow will replace Roy next. And yeah, after that, we got a few more Echo Fighters, and then it'll come to the end. So, it's quite near the end of the event. So, this roster could very much be the final or near to the final product. But I will give my server an opportunity to one, um, re-elect a character who they didn't vote in before, and two, revive a character who they've kind of killed off, which will probably be like probably Mario or Ness or maybe Zelda. One of the ones who you know I, I never thought would leave, so that would be exciting, and then that would be it, and then the final roster will be finalized and people can be as mad as they want <laughs> or as happy as they want that yay we finally got chibi robo but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you april 1st